in this question what they're actually wanting us to find is the value of x so that the surface area is a maximum so what you do is you come up with a formula for surface area oh and they also say that a box has a length which is three times the breadth so if the breadth is x then the length would be three times that so now surface area for example is all the stuff on the outside so you could take this surface over here for example which would be h times x which is like its own length times breadth and then there would be two of those right because there would be this one at the back over there and so we'll say h times x times 2 and then we could maybe look at this top part and that would be 3x times x and there would be two of those because there's a top and a bottom and then we could look at the part in the front which would be 3x times h but then there would be two of those there we go now we can just neaten up so, so I'm just going to say s for surface area is going to be 2hx plus 6x squared plus 6xh or hx now these two can go together because they're the same so that can just be 8hx plus 6 x squared and so there we have a formula for surface area the problem that we should see is that there are two variables there's an H and there's an X so we would need to replace one of those by using other information that will be given and so here they tell us that the container volume is a thousand so we know that volume is for a shape like this would be length times breadth times height which would be 3x times x times H which would be 3x squared times h. Now they've told us that the volume is a thousand so we could say a thousand is equal to 3x squared times h. We could get h alone as a thousand over 3x squared and so now we can use that in the place of h over there. And so that means we're going to have surface area equals to 8. I'm going to say 8x and then for the h I'm going to replace that with a thousand over 3x squared and then the plus 6x squared is over there. Then I'm just going to simplify that by multiplying the 8x in. So that's going to become 8,000x over 3x squared plus 6x squared. We can then simplify this as I wouldn't divide the 8,000 by 3 and write it as a decimal. Rather keep it like this. And it's going to give you 8,000 over 3x because if you have x squared at the bottom and x at the top, you'd have 1x left over at the bottom plus 6x squared. There we go. Now, our goal eventually is to find the maximum surface area. So to find minimums and maximums, it's always the first derivative equal to 0. So we need to be able to take the first derivative of this. However, what I would first do is bring the x to the top. So it would be 8,000 over 3x minus 1 plus 6x squared. Now we can take the first derivative, and that's going to give us minus 8,000 over 3, because I'm multiplying the minus 1 to the front, x, and then I minus 1, so it's minus 2, plus, whoops, 12x. Now to find minimums and maximums, you would make that equal to 0. So I'm going to say 0 is equal to minus 8,000 over 3. I'm going to put the x at the bottom again, so x to the power of positive 2, plus 12x. Then I'm going to take the 8,000 over 3x squared over. And then I'm going to multiply 3x squared over. So you're going to end up with 8,000 equals to 36x to the power of 3. Now it's really easy because now what we can do is we can say 8,000 divided by 36. And that's going to be x cubed. And then you would take the third root of that. And so your final answer should be 6. 06.